What's up guys, Vital Syntax here, and I wanted to start a series of videos that go over the basics of Arma 3. Now, I feel like Arma has a fairly steep learning curve, and that can be daunting for some people, so I'm going to start from the very beginning and work my way up from there and try and be as clear as possible and as simple as possible to help people that are new to the franchise. So if you're a veteran, obviously this isn't going to be helpful for you, but if you're somebody that hasn't played Arma and you're interested in the game, um, because it's definitely an awesome game that you should check out, then hopefully this video will help you out. So we're going to start from the very beginning before you even join a game. We're going to talk about the menu system and some of the settings. So first thing you want to do is go into your options and go into your profile and go ahead and create a new profile. And you want to set this up with your username that you want to use in game. So I'm going to set this to Vital Syntax for me. And you can go ahead and choose you know, customization for your head, glasses, and your uh, voice. And go ahead and press apply once you're ready. And press OK. And then next we're going to go into your options and set up some of the video and audio and control settings. So video first. Ultimately this is going to depend on the hardware that you're using. Your CPU and GPU configuration for the most part. This is a fairly CPU intensive game. Um, so I can't give recommendations for settings to everybody. But I can give you the recommended settings for my personal setup. Which is a GTX 680 and a 2600K. There will be a link in the description to a PC part picker page if you want to see a list of all the... Uh, parts in my PC. So for me, I'm going to set uh, most of this stuff to Ultra. Alright, uh, I'm going to set uh, Shadows to Standard. I personally haven't seen the difference. Uh, if you can go in game and switch from Standard and Ultra, and there's no difference in the look of the of the graphics, but uh, performance is definitely a big thing. Um, particles set the all the way up. So basically everything's set maxed out here. And for my overall, I like to set this to around and you can go ahead and come in here and type this out if you want. I like to set this to around 1,500 and set my objects to the same. That way uh, you don't see them popping in. Like you can see the uh, the trees kind of fading in as I lower this. But if I want I want my objects to be uh, all the way to the edge of the fog, which is your overall view, as you guys can see that. So I'm going to set this to 1,500 as well as my objects. I'm going to set my shadow to 200 as well. Display, uh, you want to set this to full screen, turn off VSync. Uh, Anti-aliasing and post-processing. I'm going to leave everything here at default except for depth of field. That personally isn't something that I like to see. I'm going to turn that off. If you don't like motion blur, you can turn off rotation blur. I actually like it in this game. Most games I don't. Um, screen space, ambient occlusion is very taxing on your on your computer, so I'd say recommend turning that off unless you have a high-end system. Uh, and then your anti-aliasing options, you have full screen anti-aliasing and post-processing anti-aliasing. And FXAA is uh, much faster, so I'd recommend that over uh, any of the uh, FSA options here. And I haven't noticed any difference between standard and ultra, so I just keep it on standard. Anastrophic filtering is going to make textures that are at an angle and also at a distance look a lot better. It's not very taxing either, so I'd recommend turning that uh, pretty high, unless you have a lower end system, then maybe set it to uh, standard or high. All right, so those are the settings I'm gonna use on my system. Ultimately, what you wanna do is keep an eye on the top right corner of this screen at your frame rate and try and hit above 60 if you're using a 60 hertz monitor. Um, your frame rate's gonna be different when you're in game, when you're in multiplayer servers and things like that, but for the most part, try and keep it at, uh, at 60 frames per second. All right, audio settings. Uh, effects are pretty self-explanatory. That's gun sounds, explosions, music. There's some music that will play during different missions and stuff that you go through. Radio is communication between your AI and you. They'll give you orders and stuff or respond to what you orders you give them. You can also, if you have that disabled, you'll see text versions of the orders that are going on uh, down in the bottom left corner of the screen. So you can turn that off if it's kind of annoying. Voice over network or VON is for multiplayer servers. If you're in something like TeamSpeak or Skype, you'll probably want to turn that off so you don't hear other people talking. And you'll probably want to turn off your microphone as well. And sound sources is essentially the quality of your microphone. All right, next we've got to go into controls. Now, ultimately, this is going to come down to personal preference. But I'd recommend going through all of the controls here at one time or another because there is quite a lot, especially something like the vehicle controls or helicopter controls. You're going to mess with these and uh, make sure that they're to your liking. Ultimately, that's going to come down to personal preference. I go into mouse smoothing and turn off acceleration as well as mouse smoothing. You'll make your controls a little bit more responsive. And game options, this is basically your difficulty, uh, heads up display, colors and stuff. We're not going to mess with that. And profiles and expansions. So that's it for the options. Now obviously you also have the play and the editor. The editor we're not going to get into probably until quite a bit later. This is going to allow you to create single player and multiplayer missions that are 
uh, really fun to play with a squad or a couple of friends or something like that, or you just play by yourself. I like you to place down AI, I like to place down vehicles, and essentially create your own scenario to uh, to play through. And in the play section, you've got showcases, challenges, scenarios, and multiplayer. So showcases are essentially what I'd recommend doing first. Uh, these give you a very um, clear and um, a pretty good idea of what's going on in the game. They try and teach you different components of the game. I'm gonna try and upload a video of me going through each of these showcases and talking about what I'm doing while I'm doing it so that people can understand uh, kind of the different mechanics that these touch on. For example, infantry is going to focus on just basic controls and infantry commands. Scuba is going to talk about underwater vehicles, helicopters. Um, supports is going to talk about controlling um, different support options like you know close air support that you can call in or mortar strikes and stuff that you can call in, as well as give give you the ability to use a sniper rifle. So that's pretty cool. So I'll try and do videos that go through all these um, so that we can uh, get through some of that stuff. Challenges are pretty actually pretty fun. They're basically firing ranges that allow you to test your skills against the clock, and I might do some videos on that, see if you guys can beat some of the high scores uh, that I've recorded. So uh, a couple different obstacle courses you've got there. Scenarios is going to allow you to play through any of those missions that you've set up in the editor. And finally, multiplayer is going to give you a multiplayer server browser. You want to go into the filters and set up things like max ping, price up it to like 200. Uh, you can say don't show full servers, don't show password servers. And you probably want to sort by something like ping or players or something like that. Um, you notice a lot of servers are things like domination, wasteland, co-op, um, team deathmatch. There's quite a lot of game modes and mods that people are running in multiplayer servers. And that's something we'll get into a little bit later is the multiplayer ones. We get kind of through the single player stuff. So hopefully that gives you guys a better idea of the basics of the menus and the options and stuff and the settings and stuff for Arma 3. The game is currently in beta so this obviously is going to change over time. Some of this stuff might tra not translate perfectly over into the full release but uh, let me know in the comments down below if you have any questions about specific things about the game. Once again I'm not an expert and I'm sure there's people that are watching that know more about the series of you know Arma in general than I do and if I ever make a mistake throughout these videos feel free to leave a comment down below with what it is that I said wrong and correct me or whatever and also if you guys can uh, leave any questions that you guys have about the game or anything that you guys want me to specifically cover then I'll try and do that uh, in my best that I can over the next couple weeks but uh, anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you're interested in the rest of these Arma tutorials which will be coming up over the next couple days and weeks don't forget to subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one